And I don't need to make them crack open a book. It's all about their experience and the, their actions and what we're doing. And I think they tend to probably almost educate themselves. You're doing things for other people, but it's kind of like doing something for yourself. You get life experiences that will help you be able to interact with people and you just feeling good that you've helped someone, and then that kind of inspires us to go out. Young people need to feel connected to their communities, and I don't feel that without service learning that they're, they're going to get that. That out of school experience, I think that's where service learning is really, really key. Being a social science teacher, I'm given the opportunity to expose my kids, to take them outside of the classroom and give them so much exposure than I could from a standard textbook inside the classroom. This is definitely learning. So in 1998, Paul Vallis was the CEO of, of Chicago Public Schools and he started a service requirement for graduation. So since that time, especially over the last seven or eight years, we've been moving towards a more service learning approach, connecting volunteer service in the community with classroom work. We're doing gardening and we're talking about nutrition with our school. We're learning about how to plant and how to save um, our ecosystem and learning a lot about our environment. We're planting over 600 plants along the prairie to preserve it and to beautify the wetland here at uh, Calumet. So the first step is preparation, developing background knowledge and also developing a skill so that you really are ready to engage in some kind of a service activity or service project. Preparation is to kind of get them in the mindset of what should we be focused on, what should we be talking about in terms of our theme. The second step is action, just what the word says, right? Now you're ready, you go out and you participate in the service project. And that, again, takes lots of different shapes and forms. The service learning program is a good match for Green Village Building because service learning is all about being in action in real life settings. And then the third and final step is reflection. This is when students are challenged to think about what they've learned and also to think about what else they want to know about that and to evaluate their own work. At the end of the project, the main focus is to figure out where they were when they first came into the program and then how much they've gained from being in the program. When you see all the accomplishments that you made, it's like then you get to reflect on and see how other people help change, how you help change. Students are volunteering at the Schneider Apartments and they're working with senior citizens. Throughout the week we've been discussing issues on aging in America and we've read articles, we've done activities. So the students come fully prepared, they're motivated students and today that they are uh, serving breakfast and making breakfast and then later uh, we will be playing bingo. We just help them um, make breakfast, play with them, so they won't feel lonely anymore, you know? It's actually fun doing things like this. Like, because why would I be at home being bored or just hanging out for no reason? So it's better to help out the community than just doing nothing. Today we had Fortman High School working with us in the garden. They were getting our garden ready for the summer. In a few weeks we're going to have about 200 kids a week eating from our garden, playing in our garden, enjoying the garden. Well, we're planting for the kids' um, summer camp, so when they come they could take it out of the vegetables and eat them. I feel awesome for planting healthy food for the kids. And the good thing is that, uh, that we're planting pure vegetables, so it makes us want to get to know more about the stuff that we're eating. Growing organic food is just pure nature. Basically, everything in here is something that has already died, and we just reuse it, so they don't waste it. any type of trees. Today, um, Taft High School students and students from um, Hope College Prep are interacting in a program called Exchange Neighborhoods. What we're doing, we're basically showing another school, which is Taft, about African-American culture. Everybody has a different board, hairstyles, family reunions, um, historical black colleges, African-American films. 
kids from Hope uh, College Prep came to our school, we gave them a little presentation, and then went over to their school, they did the same. We had lunch there, and then we headed over to the hostel, where um, we got a chance to know each other, we, we got settled into our rooms, and we kind of uh, got a little friendlier with them, since you know we're gonna be spending the night with them. By the time they walk away from exchange neighborhoods, their minds are a lot more open towards people who are different from themselves, and I always tell them, you know, they can then kind of act as ambassadors from then on, because, I mean, 50 kids is a relatively small number of kids who get to do this, so I tell them, you know, when you hear judgments and you hear stereotypes and about people you've actually met, you can kind of stomp some of that stuff down. years that I've taught, I've never had so much fun. I have so enjoyed this program with these kids. It was designed so beautifully. Just enough structure that the kids could take off and, and do a lot of decision making. And, and here you see that the kids are so enthused and they're so proud of what they've done. And you see a lot of hope. And they see how important this is, that it's not just being a good student, that it's being a part of your environment and your community. Every kid needs to be civically engaged. I think that they need to participate in service learning because it makes it, one, the individual becomes a better citizen, two, the community improves, three, our city improves, and if we get all three together then we're going to live in a pretty decent society. I could not do what I do without this kind of army of incredibly engaged and incredibly smart and wonderful, dedicated volunteers. When I see the kids from Schurz and Foreman, which are some of our local schools, these kids are any, they're the best students. Best attitude, friendly, helpful, and I'm just like, you know what, these are the stories that need to be told about the kids.